New York governor issues pardons to let parolees vote. Governor Cuomo grants parolees the right to vote, and a widow of a New York police department officer speaks out. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has issued conditional pardons restoring voting rights to more than 24,000 parolees. The long list includes convicted cop killer Herman Bell, who was released from prison in April and put on parole. Bell was convicted of brutally murdering two New York City Police Department officers, Officer Joseph Piangentini and his uh, partner, Officer Waverly Jones, in a 1971 shooting in Harlem. Joining us right now with her thoughts on the governor's uh, latest move is the widow of that police officer, Diane Pigian. Pia Gentini. Good morning to you, Diane. Good morning. All right. When you, I, I'm sure you were shocked when your husband's killer, first of all, got parole earlier in the spring. But then when you heard that uh, Governor Cuomo had given that, this cop killer the right to vote as well, what was your impression? How could he do something like that? This is a convicted felon. He killed two police officers in New York went back to California and killed Sergeant uh, John Young in California. He gets convicted in New York for killing, tried and convicted, 25 years to life. You know, there are a lot of people here in New York, after uh, the governor did this, he's, they said, look, it's political. Uh, they're on the verge of, uh, you know, he's on the verge of becoming the nominee for governor here in the Empire State once again. He's doing it for votes. Exactly. I agree with that. He is doing it for votes. He did it right before the, the Democratic Convention. But he's giving his right to a cop killer. Yes, and that should never have happened. And Bell should never have gotten out of prison. We have Anthony Bottom coming up in June, and he needs to be denied parole. There's but to give them the right to vote, they haven't served their full terms, and they don't deserve the right to vote. All right, Diane, we're looking at images from your wedding day. Tell us about your husband. Um, my husband was a very strong, compassionate, and loving man. And um, it was the love of my life. And today I'm here to represent him. I've been standing, you know, every two years before that parole board just to keep them in prison for what they did. I mean, you can see how handsome he was and the light in his eyes and the smile that he had. You can see the smile on your face. Talking yes. About him. It's got to be heartbreaking what uh, the governor did. We thank you very much for coming in, though, and okay. telling your story. All right. Thank you. All right. So if you'd like to help support the channel, do so by clicking the links below in the top of the description. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. And let's make America great again. I appreciate you. Peace.